The iPhone on top of this camera I'm holding is running an insane new app. So I've brought it here to the BSC Expo, one of the biggest filmmaking events of the year, to launch it to the entire film industry. The app is Lightcraft Jet Set, the sponsors of this video, and it allows you to do camera tracking for visual effects, green or blue screen mixed reality, or full-blown virtual production just by popping an iPhone on top of your main cinema camera. Now I'd had about a month of prep to put together our demo, to make sure that everything actually worked, but when you get to the place you have basically 10 hours to get everything rigged up and working. We had to set up a blue screen scene, our Unreal Engine environment, which is a garage full of cars, and our actress Lucia is gonna be bolting this Axoon transmitter to the front of one of those cars. When you look through the viewfinder on the phone, yeah, it was pretty awesome actually. <laughs> and we were also showing everyone who came to the booth a live render preview of our Unreal Engine environment and cinema camera composited live. And I'll show you the final result of that later in the video. Now let's have a look at this rig, because this is really integral to our demo. The first thing we have here is a Z-cam body, and on the front a Takina 29mm lens. And of course, key to everything is the Jet Set app, which is running on the iPhone. The iPhone app is calibrated to match with the 29mm Takina lens. We can tell that by looking at the phone, and it gives us a field of view of the Takina 29mm. That's kind of all you need. You need the camera, a lens, and the app but there's a lot more going on here because it's a demo and there's a lot to show people. The phone is actually outputting into one of the Axoon transmitters and then out to the monitor, which is just above me. There's also another iPhone on the back here, which is serving as our clean feed monitor. That's getting a feed from the Axoon Simo Pro. <laughs> so there's a lot of cables going on here. On the back, you've got the Axoon transmitter, another one, straight into Unreal Engine. So you can see our blue screen scene that we're running at the moment and then that's being composited with the CG scene in Unreal, and then that's being sent onto the screen as well. So we're, we're doing a lot so that we can show people up there, but this rig, this setup, is not really what you need for virtual production. It's, generally speaking, a great deal simpler. Then the VIPs showed up, and yeah, they did. We're talking about Ari, Kook lenses. <laughs> there were a lot of people coming up to me, and they had a lot of questions. I was just going to say, there's a lot happening in there. Yeah. This is mostly our demo. What you only really need to shoot is the camera and the phone. And then if you're calibrating, you can use the CMO. And we were able to give people the camera rig as well, testing it out and getting to see whether it's got any lag or latency and <laughs> seeing if they can break it. It's not like no lag. I mean, there's only the little bit of lag that is between the Axoon and the phone. We also had the app running on a couple of iPads as well, so people could walk around and test it out. They could just explore my garage environment. Everything was working so, so well, until it wasn't. Um, we seem to be having a bit of a problem. I think our tracking is working fine, but our video is getting a lot of lag. Whatever's coming out of the laptop is just stuttering like mad. Without live render preview, this demo falls flat on its face. So I'm gonna go fix that now. This is, this is interesting because the video signal that's coming into the computer uh, is also choppy. Something's happening before it gets to the laptop. So it's not a problem with the TV, it's not a problem with Unreal, but like I suspected it might be because Unreal can be quite heavy and the laptop's getting quite hot, but none of that is causing this kind of stuttering lag. Something else is going on in, in the middle. So time to check the connections, I think. That was a long night. I was really hoping that I would have that problem solved on day two, but we can't stay in the building overnight, <laughs> and I would have done. But no, I had to go back to the hotel and just pick up the threads of that problem the next day. So it's day three. It's been so busy. I'm quite tired. That rig is really heavy. You know, Dan knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a message for anyone who uses the CamLink 4K, and this is really, really important. All I need to do right here is just refresh the signal. I just go to the menu and reselect CamLink 4K. And now the video is smooth. And this only happens because I go back to Unreal to change something like the latency delay, perhaps, and all of a sudden it causes the stuttering on the video. I think this means we can get our live render preview back. Yep, that simple. It took me so long to find that problem and I'm glad that I solved it, but... It's back. <laughs> that is really cool. The relief is actually very real.
It's lucky that lighting preview was working again because Philip Bloom showed up, of course. I just looked up and he was stood next to me. Wet self and continue. Yeah, I think similar. Uh, right. Yeah, I just met Philip Bloom. Um, wow. So, I mean, they say don't meet your heroes, but uh, no, he's cool. And he let me just chat on about like craft jets. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I'm, I'm done for the day. What about you? <laughs> And because we filmed our demo with Jet Set Cine with a calibrated lens file and we synced our footage using a digital slate, I've been able to put together a final comp result. I think that there's so much here that I just didn't get to see and I'm gonna try just before the end of the day maybe to see a few more things. There's some uh, robot arms in, uh, in operation right now so we could have a peek. I caught a glimpse of it yesterday and yeah, I'm just yeah. desperate to have a look. Yeah, come and have a look. Come oh wow. Have a go. Oh come on. If you're holding the trigger move your hand up. All right, press the trigger and then, and uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so it live follows your hand movement. That's so if, bonkers. If, if you wanted to get to a really rough position and then you know, fine tune it That later. makes a lot of sense, just go like. Yeah. By this point, I've had a couple of weeks to reflect on how the event went. And I'm so pleased with what we managed to pull off because this is not easy stuff. And usually if something goes wrong or breaks, that's it because you don't have long to fix things. But what surprised me most were the reactions from the people who came by the booth. And there were a few. I guess the first one would have been just, what is this? How does this work? What's going on? But once people had that information, it's what they did with that that was most interesting. The next question was always, uh, the base level is free for the app to be downloaded and tried. And then it scales to about 80 a month for the city level. One guy was so, so shocked that I had to put him on the phone with one of the founders of Lightcraft, Elliot, and he was on the phone with him for half an hour telling him he was going to break the film industry. How true that is, I have no idea, but that is a very strong reaction. We are talking to people, by the way, who are either going to be using a Mars system, which costs 5000 Anything beyond that, up to Moses, is going to cost you 25000 Easy. And it's not just a tracking system. That's the point. This is a fully managed pipeline. So it includes tracking, but it's so much more. It's lens calibration. It's sending files and syncing them to Unreal. It's uh, sending them over to other packages like After Effects. It's... It's a lot. The other reaction was just plain excitement. I imagine most of these people from the indie crowd where they could see that this was not going to break their budget but did everything they already wanted it to and they just really really enjoyed getting their hands on the gear and testing it out. This has been such a positive experience for me and I'm really glad that I was a part of it and I do want to give a quick thank you to Elliot Mack and Bill Warner for getting me involved. It's a wild ride <laughs> and I look forward to covering Lightcraft Jet Set in more detail because there is so much coming to this thing. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. I'll see you on the next one.